How long have you worked here? Six, going on seven. Do you love it? I did. Everybody has to do so much that there is no fun time, but I miss that part in the three Ps, I guess, the fun part. I've looked into your personal businesses and seen what you've done, and for everything I've researched about you, I don't know if you're about the businesses anymore. Like, are you just gonna turn this into a glorified chain skateboard store in the malls and stuff? Are you concerned that if someone like me, that some monster got involved, that it would lose its authenticity? You could just come in and say, well, we're just about the dollar now. Is that what you think about me? I think you have a lot of money and you're a powerful man, and that is not an easy thing to work with. I think you're gonna be surprised. Really? Yeah. Eric has put together a handful of videos that are supposed to drum up business. Think about it, if this company were trying to promote a service, are they trying in the right way to reach you? Reason number 29 to change your lifestyle with Fuel Food. Fuel Food gives you the fuel you need to burn fat and build muscle without sacrificing taste. Choose from over 30 different delicious menus. Did you see the marketing campaign? This ad is offensive, and it should be nowhere near a healthy food delivery service business. Total disconnect. Too sexy, aimed just towards men, and terrible. Like, almost pornographic. Nothing I saw conveyed uh, reality. I thought they were funny, so I'm like, that's why I took them and put them up there. It's pretty embarrassing. Do you think they're funny, Jordan? I don't. It's offensive, actually. See, if I would have seen that before I came, I would have come. Oh, it's good. But it's good. Yeah, but it's really good. And it's fresh. It's obvious that they have a good product. And Becky's son, Brian, shows me that the employees are motivated and they enjoy their work. But the tension between John and Becky could be the reason this business is really struggling. Tell me the story how you met. She became friends with my wife. We would hang out together. My wife and I, my ex-wife and I had problems. I went to my wife and I said, if you want to try to work this out, you need to get rid of Becky. Why did you want her to get rid of Becky? So that my ex-wife and I could work it out. We were like an inner circle. There was like the three of us that were, you know. You all were having like a, there was like a triangle thing going on? Sort of, yes. Sort of, okay. Yes. Okay. Cohorts in crime, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so let me check out these right. <laughs> This is a classic case of TMI. I don't know what sort of graph or chart we could put up for this one, but I think we should move on.